Well, happy Friday, everyone. And it's a long weekend for us. And I'm so glad to see all of your faces. This week, I felt just a little disconnected because I haven't seen so many people. So this is making me feel better already. Um, it's time for Yin and Vin Vino, as we say, but Yin and Vin for short. Um, and uh, raise a glass if you've got it. Awesome. I knew MM would have red wine. Awesome. Yay. Okay. Well, cheers to you. Happy Friday. Let's take a nice long sip just to get this class going. Cheers. Mm -hmm. So good. And then just begin to sit comfortably. We're just going to start with some breathing exercises, just really slow and controlled. But find a comfortable seat. Close your eyes. Yeah, get where you need to be to feel really grounded right here into your mat. And let's start with a deep breath in through our nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Let the week go. Let your day go. Let your thoughts go. We'll do two more deep breaths like that together. So breathe in, fill up all the way to the bottom of your belly. Sigh it out. One more, inhale in. And then when you're ready, sigh it out the way you need to. And then zip your lips together. Start to incorporate your ujjayi, even with your eyes closed here. Drop your shoulders. And at the top of your breath, add even more air to it. So take another little bit of air in, even when you think you can't, and then a really slow exhale out. And just keep this pace that you need right here as we begin. All you need to do is breathe. Let your shoulders melt even more towards your mat. And without thinking too much about this, just set an intention of one word for your practice. It could be as easy as let go or it's Friday or patience or something you may need from this class, peace. And when you're ready, start to open your eyes slowly. And then take your right shoulder up and back. Just shoulder rolls. We'll start to really unwind here. Right shoulder up and then back. Just as slow and as gentle as you can. And when you're ready, switch to the other side. So left shoulder. Yep, just one shoulder at a time for now. And then take the right shoulder forward, so up, forward. And you can have your eyes closed if you wish. Some people like to take their head to the opposite side of the shoulder they're rolling just to get a nice little neck stretch here. So yeah, it's up to you here to explore. Just slow, gentle movements. And when you're ready, transition left shoulder going forward. Come back to center. Now both shoulders back together. Yeah, feel your shoulder blades go up and then go back. 
and then expand your chest even more toward the top of your mat. Just nice and easy. Working on our back muscles, our heart, expanding our lungs here, fill up, and then take your shoulders forward. I can really feel this in my shoulder blades where a lot of my stress goes, so. Everybody's different. Couple more rounds going forward. and then come back to a comfortable seat. We'll be spotlighting Sarah and Brooke today. So let me switch it over to Sarah. You'll still hear my voice. Welcome, Erin. I just saw you join, yay. And yeah, there's Sarah. So Sarah is awesome and she will be helping us actually just with every pose. Um, let's go ahead and get into cat-cow. So we've got our shoulders warmed up and then start to stack those shoulders over your wrists and then inhale, drop your belly, lift up your head, cat pose, cow pose, yes. And then exhale, cow. These are slow as well. And what I love and what I was gonna say earlier about yin, yeah, keep continuing these as slow as you need. But what I love about yin is we're just holding these poses longer or slower or adding more breath to every pose, making it a little simpler. Yeah, a couple more rounds of cat-cow. And then on this next round, start to incorporate your hips. So nice hip circles. Again, if it's slower, that makes you really feel this a little more, even make it slower than you did. This is so good to eliminate the stress especially in our backs, in our head, our neck. Couple more rounds right here. You can even close your eyes for these last couple. And when you're ready, come to a Neutral position, take your left arm out toward the side and then thread the needle underneath your right arm. Take more of what you need here. So if you'd like a little more, maybe sit your hips back. This pose always changes for me from day to day. So set up how you need. Five more breaths. So many ways to expand right here. Last breath on this side, fill up all the way to the bottom of your belly again. Slow exhale out and then transition to the other side. Thread the needle. Yeah, take your hand to where you need it, maybe out in front or behind you in a half bind.
and then five more breaths on this side. Nice, Brooke. And on this last round of breath, fill up. Exhale, slowly come back to a neutral spine and then go back to those cat cows once more. So five cat cows, as slow or as fast. As we warm up, it's incredible just to see the difference in this one pose. and then come back to a neutral spine. All right, guys, take your right leg back and your left arm forward. Yeah, a little core already today, but again, this is the slower pace, the yin. So fire up your core. And then two more breaths on this side. So good for our lower backs here. If you wanna add a little more, you can pulse up another half inch and then down for a couple more breaths. Nice, everybody. And then switch sides, same thing, just different arm and leg. One more round of breath here. Nice, Sarah Blizzard. And then lower down. Beautiful. One more cat cow and we'll transition. Inhale, look up. Exhale, really curl this one in. Navel towards your spine. Let your head drop. Even shake your head. Yes and no or just side to side right here. Yeah, you know what you need here. Let it go. and then come to a seated position. We're gonna go into twisted seat. So I like my legs cross-legged. I don't know about you guys, but get in a comfortable seat and then take your left hand over your right knee. So it's almost, yep, there you go, Sarah, perfect. And then as slowly as you can, again, we're taking these poses slower, start to gaze over your right shoulder and then add a little tension and release with your left arm. So you can press even more through your right knee side. With each inhale, sit up even straighter. So your seat is grounded, but your torso can get even taller. Fill up with air, twist even more on your exhale. Inhale, lengthen the crown of your head toward the sky, twist on your exhale. And one more on this side, breathe in, breathe out switch sides. So come back through and then right hand to left knee. Yeah, your back arm is the kickstand. So however you want that support, find that here. Listen for your ujjayi. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more, inhale. 
twist, come back to center. And then walk your hands out in front of you. Yep, so a nice big back stretch. And then go forward as much as you can. Keep your hips grounded where they are. Yep, and then let your head melt toward your mat. Yeah, draw your hips toward the back of your mat as you extend your head forward toward the front of your mat. You may even hear a little pop in your spine. And then walk your hands to the right side. Nice side body stretch here. And then come back through center, other side. One more round of breath in, breathe. Breathe out, come back to seated. Grab your drink of choice, have a sip here. And we'll just take little sections to have a sip here and there. The first time I taught it, I forgot to take sips. So today I'm building that in, you know, we're learning. Yeah, take a sip and then set your drink back down. And then come into a forward fold. Yeah, lift your fingertips high first. Legs straight out in front of you, nice Sarah. And then lift up even more, breathe in. Fold on your exhale. And what I love about the yin practice is the more time to breathe, the more you can really go somewhere that maybe you haven't gone before in this pose. Sometimes I know in the flows that we normally do, we know what's next. So really just ground yourself in this pose and then let gravity take over. Remember your breath here. Inhale, start to come up. Bring your left foot into your right inner thigh and then take um, the one-legged seated forward fold right here. And then let the thoughts just start rolling out. There's nothing more to do. Come back up and then switch legs. Draw your shoulder blades toward each other and then lead with your chest here, not your head. Such a good place to check in with what really is going on. So let your head hang heavy, but lead first with your chest. And is there anywhere right here you can bring even more space? Okay. 
On your next inhale, come back up and then find puppy pose. I found my cat actually doing this pose the other day, but it really feels good for all of us because it's loosening everything in our throat. So if you can get the Adam's apple even closer to your mat in a comfortable way, again, just let gravity guide you here. Yeah, spread your fingers wide. A couple more breaths here in puppy. When you're ready, make your way to Sphinx pose. Yeah, wonderful for our lower back right here. We're going to do 10 breaths in this pose. So settle in and then just start to expand your heart toward the front of your room. With each inhale, open up even more. Yeah, you can close your eyes in these poses, guys. Nothing is wrong with that. It's there to guide you. Just listen to where your body wants to go. And feel the difference of your ujjayi here on your belly. Is it getting blocked? Can you send it to where you need it the most? Couple more rounds of breath right here. Start to engage your thighs here. Whale pose, make your way into whale. Either side is fine. We're all in our own little worlds today. So whichever side you would like to do. And again, we've got Brooke and Sarah being awesome. Students for us today is the spotlight. And it's amazing what yoga can do for your body as we all know, but just a personal note, this pose was one that I couldn't even do on my left side because of all the tension in my shoulders and shoulder blades when I first started. Um, and now it's a lot easier because I've allowed the breath to come in and I've done it over and over. And one side usually of your body here is a little more tight than the other. If you would like a little more, you can use your top leg as a kickstand and then have a bind with your top arm behind you. And then feel what comes up here. 
Is there any resistance? Can you let something go? When you're ready, slowly make your way to the other side for whale. If you would like even more of a challenge here, you can start to raise your top leg up. Find the balance with your sit bones. Nice, Sarah Hearn. Couple more breaths where you're at. When you're ready, start to make your way back to a comfortable seat. Take another cat cow in between here with your hip circles and then feel the difference of when we first started. Can you feel the difference in the tops of your shoulders, maybe your shoulder blades? Nice guys, yeah, and then make your way to a comfortable seat. We're gonna work even more on our necks and shoulders right here, and then we'll make our way to our backs. Yeah, let's have a sip. Good job, Mary Morgan. Way to remind me. Awesome. Aaron, cheers. All right, place your hands right above your knees and then drop your chin towards your chest. We're gonna do 10 breaths with this exercise forward, left and right. So just let your head start to melt with each of these 10 starting now. Again, this is gravity doing the work. But you can feel where your tension is immediately here. Deep belly breath. If you'd like to sway your head from side to side here slowly. And let the forehead melt toward your floor. Come back up to center, inhale, and then exhale, right ear, right shoulder. And again, you don't need to go all the way towards your shoulder at first. Close your eyes here and then 10 breaths as you relax your shoulders, see where your head starts to melt. And there may be tension on your left side now, opening those left neck muscles. Definitely a stress point right here. Just 
Take a couple more rounds on this side. And then when you're ready, transition your way towards your other side. So left ear, left shoulder. And then relax your right shoulder down. Where can you let something go in your body right here? And then send that breath, that new life, new oxygen to that part. Make your way back to center slowly and then drop your chin towards your chest again. We won't hold this as long this time. Just a couple of breaths and then it's up to you to transition to your right side. So chin back up and then move to your right. And then when you're ready, move to your left. And then you've got the freedom to do this two more times as fast as you slow or as you want and slow with chin toward your chest to the right and to the left. When you're ready, make your way onto your back. Set up for Supta Baddha Konasana. If you guys have a block and would like a upper back release today, go ahead and put the block um, in between your shoulder blades however you need to get comfy. Again, another heart opener here. I love this pose so much because it's not only opening your hips here, you really don't have to do anything else than just get to it. Your knees are going to melt again towards your mat no matter what, so just release. Like if you feel any muscle tighten, release it right then. Like you're a little noodle right here. Inhale in, exhale stay, melt even further. Relax your inner thighs. When you're ready, start to remove the block that's below you. We will come back to where you can use that again soon. And then make your way for a bridge pose set up. Don't go right into bridge just yet. We're gonna do a restorative yin bridge today. We're gonna do it three times and then you are more than welcome to take normal bridge pose here. 
But the standard for this one is your arms are going to go up with your back. So Brooke, if you will mind demonstrating, take your fingertips towards your toes, so arms go long, there you go. And then as you lift your hips up, you guys can watch her real quick if you want. As you lift up, yep, your hands are gonna go exactly with her hips until they can't anymore. Yep, and then arms go all the way back. And then your hips will lower with your arms all the way down. I've seen someone take like 20 breaths doing this just with one of these. So go as slow as you can to really feel your hips lengthen higher with your arms. And then when your arms meet your hips, they go down at the same time. So good for strengthening our lower lumbar and our lower spine. You have three rounds of that. And after your third one, no rush, just slowly make your way down. We'll all meet to set up for normal bridge. And we should be raring to go at this point. All systems go. So breathe in with me, breathe out, and then bridge pose. Take it as slow or as fast as you want. You should be in great alignment because of what you just did. And then lift your hips up toward the sky here. Yep, reach for one hand toward the other, one shoulder under, then the other. Couple more breaths right here. These look awesome, everyone. Deepest inhale so far of this practice. And then slowly exhale down. So good. And we've just got one more of these. So come back up on your inhale for bridge or wheel. Again, not a rush with these, but just to really feel the difference of how your body is when it's slower. and how much more you can press down through your feet here. Awesome, Sarah Blizzard. And then when you're ready, start to make your way down. Frog pose. I know Brooke is so excited to demonstrate this one. <laughs> but I have learned to love this pose. And I see dogs and cats do this pose all the time. So I know that it must be good for us too. So start to walk. Brooke has a block in front of her. That is awesome. I do that as well. Um, or, you know, roll your mat up how you need to get your knees comfy. And this is when you're staying in the fire right here with each breath. You're staying through it.
Yeah, nice, Mary Morgan. You can even take a pillow toward your torso, your stomach. Pay attention to what comes up for you right here. Couple more rounds of breath. And then slowly make your way out of this pose as slowly as you can. And then make your way into double pigeon on the right. Yeah, take any hip circles you need, any movement. Root down through your sit bones. And today, let's take this one even slower. So lift your fingertips up toward the ceiling or sky if you're outside. Yeah, look up towards your fingertips. Really get your spine long here. And then as slowly as we did that bridge, start to fall forward. So it's all in the core here. It's all in your back muscles, your abs. and then settle in to where your hips can really feel it. Yeah, draw your hips even more toward the back of your mat and down. And then start to incorporate some neck rolls. So just slow again and control. Let your head get heavy. Let them move with gravity. And when you're ready, slowly make your way up, head up last, switch legs. And then we'll do that same slow movement on the other side. Yep, lift your fingertips back up, look up toward the sky, and then as slowly as you can, start to fall forward. And maybe you feel new sensations on this other side. One hip may have a different feel. That's okay. Start to bring your head rolls back. Mm -hmm. 
root down through your sit bones. Inhale your arms back up toward the ceiling. Release your legs, let them go long. One last time here. And then seated forward fold again. Feel the difference than the first one that we did. Inhale, make your way back up. Find fish pose. So blocks again. If you have one, some kind of prop behind your back. Yeah, another chest heart opener here. You guys are all experienced yogis, so I don't know if you want to try something new on here because you all look amazing, but really check in with how your head is feeling. Is it comfortable? Is there a way for you to open your throat even more? And can you receive just what is right here? The silence. If you'd like a little bit extra today, take your arms behind you, if that feels comfortable. And then just surrender even more where you can right here. When you're ready, make your way back up. Find your libation drink of choice. Take another sip here. And then we're moving into one of my favorites, legs up a wall. Yes. If you prefer shoulder stand, go for it. I just feel like sometimes in a yin class when sometimes in a studio we may not have the opportunity to stay in a pose as long. Um, it's fun to expand with our arms in this one, especially when your legs are toward a wall or toward some kind of barrier that can hold your weight here. Nice, Brooke. Yeah, and then let's start with how we ended fish. So draw your arms behind you if that feels good. Just make sure guys with all of this that both shoulder blades are staying on your mat. You don't want one to come up or one to get a little wonky. And then if you are ready to take it to another level today, gently walk your legs slowly, keep them on the wall, but toward the right. 
Yeah, just slow and controlled and then let them land wherever on your wall. You don't have to go all the way over, but maybe just get another little hip adjustment or hip stretch right here. Come back up through center, reset right here. And then let the lower half of your body just start to go toward the left. Start to make your way back up to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Make yourself into a little bitty ball. Squeeze everything in, forehead toward your knees. And then stay in this position. Just start to rock side by side slowly to the right and to the left. Yeah, really feel that nice massage on each hip. And then come into happy baby. And then archer's pose. So one leg goes long, one leg stays bent. As slow as you can with this archer. Yeah, allow the hamstrings to really stretch here, but put a little bend in your knee still. And then switch sides. Release your legs down to the ground. Supine twist on the right. And today in supine, take both arms out toward the sides of your mat. Feel again the tops of your shoulder blades on top of your mat. And then if you want a little more, go ahead and flex that top foot, lengthen your top leg out. Come back through center, supine on the left. Allow your eyes to start to close. And in these last couple of poses, keep your eyes closed. Maybe feel them in your bodies a different way. Come back through center and then butterfly. Supta Baddha Konasana. If your block is there and you'd like another opener, feel free to put that behind your backs here. We'll be in this for 
at least a minute. So really expand or try on something new here. One hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. Imagine your knees just getting heavier and melting even more towards your floor with each exhale. So breathe in and then let your knees fall even more towards your mat. If there's resistance, breathe in and then send the exhale toward it. Tuck your chin toward your chest, feel even more of your neck onto your mat. Just a couple more vertebrae, maybe get them a little closer. And then one leg at a time, keep that with your chin, make your way into Shavasana. Yeah, take a sip, grab a blanket. <laughs> I love it, Erin. This is your long Shavasana to start your long weekend. Palms up toward the ceiling. Nothing more to do.
deepen your breath. Change nothing right here except the deep part of your breath. Gently move your head toward the right. Bring in any space that you can here. Allow your left side to open up to relax. Come back through center, head toward the left. Send the breath to this right side. Come back to center. Roll to your right in a fetal-like position. Thank yourself here for showing up on this Friday afternoon to bring more life, more light, more breath into your body, your mind. Come back to that one word, that one thought that you had at the beginning of practice, and then fill up with air here, and then exhale, sigh it out. Make your way to a comfortable seat. Go ahead and unmute yourself here. We're going to end this yin class all together with three ohms as a community. Draw your hands to heart center. Deep breath in through your nose. Uh -oh. breath in, deep breath out, draw your thumbs to your third eye. I thank you for showing up for yourself, for those around you in this community. The light in me sees, honors, and respects the light in all of you. Together we say, Namaste. Namaste. Yay, guys. Here's cheers. Cheers. Cheers.